M0FXB, welcome to my channel. So ICOM have surprised us with this new DV repeater monitor function. And to use this, you do need your SD card, a Wi-Fi connection, and you're going to need to add a extra file to your SD card, which is an IP repeater list. So I thought I'd show you where to get this. So have a look on the uh, couple of links. I'm going to put these links in. You've got the firmware update, which is 1.32. You've also got some instructions here, and it shows you here... If you look down where the little hand is, it says not use. So if you go into this repeater function I'm going to show you now, it will say not use. So you need to add this file. Where do you get the file from is here. So you'll scroll to the top, repeater list download. So I'll, I'll just call it the IP repeater list in the description. So download that. And there are some instructions at the, bo at the bottom you can download as well, which is this page here. So let's just quickly show you on the radio and then I'll show you the list. So on the radio, just go menu, set, and can you see it there? It says DV repeater list. When you tap it, yours will say, oh, I've taken the SD card, yours will say not in use. Let me just add that back in. So if we go back to the radio, I'll just show you because the SD card is in my PC at the moment. So what we'll do is just click that. Uh, this is the, my main USB drive, so of course you have to back up and save your SD card and then you get the usual files. And one of the ones you want is called repeater list, so let's find that. So these are the extracted files direct from ICOM and the one here that's called the repeater money sample CSV. And when you look into it, if I double click it, you'll see that it, oh, I'm not going to do it now because I haven't got Excel on this computer, but it's just an Excel list with repeaters around the world and IP numbers. So all you do is drag that here into your USB drive when it's in your computer. See if I've already got it in there. And you put it in, there's a new folder called, let's find it for you, repeater monitor. See it here, RPT monitor. If I double click, it's already in there. So all you're basically doing is dragging that repeater sample file into here. See, it's the same replace. I'm not going to replace it, but it'll it'll probably appear here, and then just click it and drag it up and until it's floating above repeater monitor, and drop it in, and then put that in your radio, which I'll do now, and you'll see what that looks like. So back at the radio, let's have a look. Just go, let's come out completely, go menu, set, DB monitor, and there it is, you've now got the repeater list. Yours will say not use. We've got a, a file in there. So now when you go to your settings, you've got a new window here called repeater monitor, and you can actually turn that on and off. I haven't really started using it. So we're going to have a little play near repeater see if we can get a near repeater and then we'll we'll select one for now and then when you're in monitor you can turn that on and it starts to monitor and you get a new window appear but we'll look at that later so bye for now seven three all the best